Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 50 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we learned how to change the type of an existing attribute in the database table. And in this lecture, we will see how reversible migration work or why we need to create reversible migrations. Okay, so let's look into the example. In the last lecture, when we uh, changed the type of uh, description attribute into the demo table, we saw that change method was not reversible. Why? Because change column method is not automatically reversible. So we saw two different ways to make it reversible. So uh, we will discuss reversible uh, migration here. So we will see that how we can make a migration which is using change method uh, reversible okay so here we can see this syntax okay so in that case if we forget if we remove this uh, uh, reversible module here or reversible syntax here this change method will work fine but it will run successfully but not rollback okay so it means it is not reversible and just like this there are various cases there we can we may require the reversible migrations that we cannot achieve with def change method but we can make them reversible inside the change and then we can achieve the reversible okay now let's do the same thing here with another migration so let's first uh, generate a migration lcg migration here we will create some dummy records into the demo table lcg migration add dummy records to demo table okay sorry table now run this migration and once the migration run you will see the this change method is blank right now and we will add something like this 10 dot times to i we will add 10 dummy records here now we can add so first uh, let's write a push command here puts creating demo and let's say i plus one now demo dot create use a name let's say demo name and then i plus one description demo description then i plus one okay. now when you run this migration this will create 10 demo records so let's run this else we migrate and you will see that it has created demo 1 demo 2 demo 3 demo 4 demo 5 6 7 8 9 10 now let's check in tails console tails c okay. and now count the demo records demo dot count you will see 10 records okay now when you roll back this migration this will again create 10 migration 10 demo records okay let's say rails tv now you can see that uh, uh, the change method is reversible here but it does not make sense to, to implement change methods in this way now let's see how many demo records we have so let's execute demo.count now you can see demo.count will be 20 so here what we need to do that we need to implement uh, this migration in a way that when we run this migration this should create 10 demo records and when we roll back this migration it should destroy all those 10 demo records which are created when we run this migration so now in this case we can use reversible module okay First of all, copy this loop 
and inside the change method just like uh, this migration we can write reversible block so let's do that reversible to write a dir and this block and here you can do dir dot up and do and it means when you run this migration this will create in dummy records and when you roll back this migration this will destroy these dummy records now just copy this and change this up to down and right here deleting and just remove it here because we don't need that because we're gonna change this create by demo dot find by sorry find by name and at the last you can invoke dot destroy okay but first let's destroy the all existing demo records open rails console and run demo dot destroy all here you will see all demo records will be cleared now count check demo dot count you will see zero records here exit this clear the console and now run this migration okay. when you run this migration you will see 10 de dummy demo records will get created and now when you roll back this migration rails db roll back you will get all these migration records will be deleted okay now when you check in your console for how many demo records will be there you will see zero demo dot count okay now zero records why because 10, rec 10 demo records gets created uh, when we run the migration and those all those uh, 10 demo records will get deleted when we roll back the migration now let's run it again and check into the console sorry else db migrate now check in console demo dot count You can see 10 records here now exit this and rails db rollback these records will get deleted and now check in your rails console the demo.count will be zero okay so it means this is the way that we can implement reversible migration in our uh, rails migrations okay so this is how you can create reversible migrations and this is just a very simple example uh, there are many situations you might face when your create table will fail to create reversible mig uh, your change method will fail to have reversible migrations and in that case you must have two ways to do that the first one is reversible and the another one is def up and change method which we will uh, see in another lecture because that were that are the older syntax of rails migration because before rails 4 we were using def up and down for running the migration and down for downing the migration or rolling back the migrations okay so that's all from this uh, video okay and uh, i hope you enjoyed that Thanks for watching this. Let's meet into the next lecture. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.